Hi guys, it's Alice. First, I want to thank you guys for following me on Instagram from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys have been asking me a lot of questions on Instagram. This next video, I'll probably do a Q and Alize or a Q and A or an Ask Alize. So if you have any questions, just reach out to me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I'm looking forward to your guys' questions, and hopefully I can squeeze them in into one of my next videos. This week on Sweet and Sour Reviews, I'm going to go over my overall impressions of a balance beam my mom bought me over the summer. I don't believe in you. Hard to say goodbye. It wasn't meant to be. Hard to let it go. Oh yeah. Sweet and sour. I'll give it a sweet rating if I think it will be something you guys will like. And I'll give it a sour rating if I feel it's not worth the money. Okay, general thoughts. This beam can be used for gymnastics practice and recreational use. I use this beam at home almost daily. The suede on the outside has a very nice thickness. It is light enough for me to fold it up and put it away all by myself. It folds in half to store behind a couch or under a bed. Since it folds and is lightweight, you can take it everywhere. I think it is meant for us younger gymnasts because it is also soft. One of the advantages of it being squishy is your parents won't have to worry about you hurting yourself if you fall. It will easily work for preteen or level threes and all the way up to gymnasts working on back handsprings and back tucks. Tunes are a little hard on it, but there are so many other skills you can work on that shouldn't be a problem. I'm 10 and about 60 pounds, and I feel I will outgrow this beam pretty quickly. It will be definitely too soft for heavy gymnasts. If you're at the middle to higher levels of gymnastics, you will find it difficult to land flips on it because of how much it goes with your feet. But for right now, it is great for practicing turns, cartwheels, and my overall balance. Some of the complaints I have is it will slip a little when used on wood or tile floors. But put it on a carpet and it won't budge. Also, your hands might sometimes slip on the material as it's hard to grip. The rough riding might come off if your feet are sweaty and might go all over the place. Make sure not to store it upward in a closet or against a wall because it might bend. So overall, I give this product Alize's sweet seal of approval. I recommend it for you gymnasts of the ages 3 to 10. You should be able to progress from back walkovers to attempting flip flops in no time with no fear from falling off the high beam. If you enjoyed the sweet edition of Sweet and Sour Reviews with me, Alize, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Tell me what kind of beams you guys are using. Let me know what you do or do not like about your balance beams in the comments down below. As always, make sure to do research since there are many different brands of beams. Choose the one that suits your needs. In this case, the price was reasonable for my parents and ended up being a good value with decent quality. Peace. Love you guys. Come along way from where we be